Hey friends, my name is Aki Dearest. So I'm actually pretty ticked off today because yesterday I found an article online regarding how Japan is actually trying to revise their copyright laws because of certain policies with the TPP. Now I'm going to explain what the TPP is and what this article is talking about and who it's going to be affecting. That way we're all on the same page. So the TPP is one of the many trade organizations specifically between the United States and all of the other Pacific countries such as Australia, Japan, and other Asian countries. And what Japan is trying to do is tighten up their copyright laws in order to protect the copyright holder. Now the reason I'm doing this is because they actually wouldn't really care about the morality of the situation, more as it is with just how much money they're making. So it's going to be a lot stricter if this law passes and what's going to happen is that the people who make doujins, people who make fan art, people who make AMVs, abridged series, um, anybody who sells cosplay prints of themselves, you, they are subject to c committing a crime if they do not have the written consent from the creator. Now there's a specific part in this article that's actually probably the scariest one, is other legal changes under consideration include allowing the authorities to investigate intellectual property infringements and bring charges against offenders even if the copyright holders have not filed complaints as well as allowing rights holders to seek statutory damages for infringements. What that basically means is that I could be selling fan art in a convention and even though I'm in the United States, um, it's so strict that authorities from the United States can just come up to me and be like, you don't have the written permission, the Japanese have already enforced this law, so we're shutting you down, and depending on the situation, they can take all the money that you've made and give it to the copyright holder or whoever else it's distributed to. And they can do this without even having to go to the copyright owner or even having to go through the process with Japan because that's how tight this law is going to be. You, they can now just do it on the spot without even having to go through the whole process of, oh hey, so does this person have the right? No, it's that you're doing it, you, do, you don't have the form, so they can just do it on the spot. So that would affect conventions such as like Comic Head where it's an entire convention based around selling doujin, based around selling fan art, and it's always kind of gotten under the radar, always kind of like slipped between the cracks here and there, but if this law takes place, if it's enforced, then authorities have the right to go in there and shut everybody down. In fact, they probably even have the rights to just not make Comic Cat happen at all. This also includes a bridge series and AMVs. And what happens at these conventions is that we do have AMV competitions, which if this law takes place, if the AMVs do not have the written consent to use any of that anime and show people and distribute it and get money for it if they win the prize or whatever, then you can say goodbye to AMV competitions. Authorities can shut it down. They can say that you can't throw this anymore, can't do it and that'll be the end of AMVs. Now, if you're someone that's selling doujins or any kind of merchandise and you do have the permission from the content creator, you can expect that the prices are to rack up quite a bit. Like, this shirt alone was like $15. Um, it can rack up to probably like $35, it, depending on how successful the business is. Tea Turtle is actually a fairly successful um, otaku uh, nerd fashion company that makes quite a bit of money so I would assume that they're actually they would actually be ranking their prices quite a bit considering that the average price per t-shirt is usually like 20 bucks this one I only got for 15 because it was on sale now the other people that do benefit from this law are the people that still have already the permission from the author um, which what will happen is that when you get permission from an author, let's say if the author dies and they gave you the right before their death to publish your works and in the United States you can publish that and sell it for about 80 years. Now if the Japanese decide to pass this law or try to enforce it, then say if I was making, I don't know, like a really awesome fan art of Saitama and I wanted to sell it and distribute it everywhere, I now can sell that from 80 years to now 100 years because they're adding 20 years um, for your expiration date. Now the thing is is that that doesn't really matter because for an average Joe like me, selling a Saitama fan art for 80 years is kind of like over the top, don't you think? The only people that this would really apply to are people that are actually very very successful with their fan arts if it was actually going to benefit um, my family, future generations, as well as the families for the deceased author. 
Now, this would also apply to cosplay prints, and because of that, because you would most likely not have the permission to sell a cosplay print of yourself, like, let's say, a Kill a Kill character, and they got on you for it, then that would affect the cosplayer, and like in this day and age, there's a lot of famous cosplayers that now make a living, and a big portion of it is making cosplay prints. Well, if they can't sell cosplay prints anymore, then that's pretty detrimental to them as artists. This is detrimental to pretty much all artists in the anime community, and the artists are a big, big portion of the anime community. I mean, if we have to get permission from the companies, at least make up a system, I guess, where it can just be quick and easy, where we can maybe like submit our thing, somebody's there to review it, and they give us the okay, or no, just really quickly, instead of having to go through an entire long process for something as simple as a little fan art. Now, the main thing though that will still stand here, uh, as it is right now, is it's always a gray area. Fan art, doujins, anything of the sort, those are always in a gray area because the results or the consequences all depend on the company that owns that character. Sometimes that can always be accommodated for, which is why it's in such a gray area. So anyways, I'm not exactly sure what we could do here. If you guys have any ideas of what can be done about this, put in the comment section down below. Share the video with your friends to see what they might say about it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!